Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Terror. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is singles looking for love. So let's see what uh, advice our angels and guides want to give us for those of us who are looking for love. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me in through the nose and out through the mouth. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, so today we have pile one with citrine, pile two with the chevron amethyst, pile three with carnelian, and pile four with aquamarine. So take a moment, pick the pile that you are most drawn to, and pause the video if you have to, and I'm going to get started with pile one. Okay, pile one. The first thing I'm going to do is pull you some angel numbers. So let's see what comes out today. We have three, one, one, seven. Three, one, one, seven is your angel number. I'll be right back. Okay, pile one, let's see what cards come out for you today. We have the Empress, Seven of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Sun. Well, that's a good way to end it. Okay, so the Empress says that you're desirable right now. You know, you're you're very attractive. I don't know what you're doing, but you um, people are looking at you and and you're bare, you're just attractive and desirable. True love might actually come knocking on your door pretty soon. You're attracting it. Now, here comes the seven of swords and you know that's my least favorite card in this entire deck. But with this singles read, I, I think I think it's saying take a look at why you're trying to find somebody. You might be trying to find somebody for the wrong reasons. So make sure you are not looking for somebody to, I don't know, be code, codependent on. You know, make sure you're just, you're looking for love for all the right reasons. But I think that if you stick with what you're doing, you're going to get exactly what you want. I mean, there's going to be an offer here with this Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is our slow mover, right? So it might not be coming in as fast as you would like, but there is definitely somebody coming in for you. Somebody who, who wants to settle down with you long term. The King of Cups is a um, somebody who wants a long term stable relationship. And of course, the sun is complete happiness, right? So I think you're getting to a point where you love yourself and those who surround you. You might not be perfect, but your ability for self-reflection and positive change attracts interesting people in your life. I think that your love is a positive force in others' lives as well. So I just think that you are a pretty amazing person, Pile One, being the Empress and with the sun energy. I just, I just think that you're pretty amazing. All right, let's get some more cards. Two of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, and Five of Pentacles. Okay, so, hmm. Well, there's a decision you're going to have to make when it comes to love. 
Are you ready for it? Are you really ready for somebody to come in? If you are, great. But it looks like you've been hurt. It looks like you feel alone in this world. You might be, you might have been single for a long time. Um, or at least for a, a little, you know, a while. You didn't break up with somebody yesterday. I feel like there was somebody in your life who was not on the up and up. Somebody who was a liar, a cheater, or a thief. Somebody who lied to you, cheated on you, or stole from you. And it caused you some serious heartache. And, uh, you know, left you feeling alone in this world. Like, who can you depend on? If you can't depend on the person that you love, who can you depend on? But I do feel like love is right around the corner from you. And I do feel like it's going to be a decision that you have to make. So I feel like it's an important decision. And I feel like you're going to be in your head about it a little bit. So I don't know if this could be somebody who, who might be coming back. Or, you know, whether you want to let your walls down and let somebody in again. Because you might be afraid to do that. Because I do feel like a lot, my heart is very heavy right now. I do feel like a lot of heaviness here, a lot of heartache and fear of getting hurt again. But, you know, we all have to go through um, getting our heart broken because that just teaches us, you know, what we don't want in life and what we do want, right? It gives us, it gives us that comparison. So it does teach us a lesson, even though it's a not a fun lesson to learn. But it's it's worth it sometimes. Because it could bring something, you could attract something amazing into your life, which I feel like that's what you're doing. Being the em in Empress mode and with the sun here on the end. I do feel like you're going to get your fairy tale. I do feel like it's going to be like a pretty amazing love. Especially if your person's the king of cups. This is somebody who wants somebody long term. Somebody who is very loving and very um, generous. And just takes care of their people. So, let's get some more cards. Let's see where else this is going. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Miracles. I gotta fix this camera a little bit, maybe. Go up a little higher. Got my computer in there. All right. All right. So, expect the wondrous to emerge. Expect a miracle, because a miracle is happening. You know, you're getting your miracle. You're getting your fairy tale. Your prince, charming. Or princess, right? Um, I I did feel like it was going to be amazing, but I do feel the heartache too. So you just have to trust and believe, okay? I know that's so hard. It's easy for me to say, right? Bountiful nature. Spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and remind you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, or sit under the stars or do something, some other activity to connect you with the limitless vastness. All right, so I guess that's basically saying that you still have some healing to do. You might feel like, cause I'm, I'm feeling like you feel like you've already done the healing. But if you are lonely and feeling alone, if you've been single for a while and you're looking for love or you want love in your life, then there might be still something that's holding you back. So it does feel like you do need some healing. I feel like you have done a lot of work. I do. I, it, I do feel like you've done some self-reflection, especially with that empress. I feel like you... Um, you know, even though self-reflection sometimes isn't fun, I do feel like you do do it. I feel like you're smart enough that you you do it and you take care of the things you have to do because you, you know that you got to let things go. But 
you know, there might be still some things lingering. So go outside. They're saying nature is going to help you heal. And I say that this on this channel all the time about how healing nature is. I always say go hug a tree or, you know, put your feet in the grass or the sand and walk by a river or a lake or something. It is. So I think that they are urging you to do that. So get outside if you can. Get outside. Even if you're working on your and you don't have time when you go home, like maybe you have to take care of dinner or you take care of the kids and then by that time throw in some laundry and you're exhausted. So maybe you don't have a lot of time. But maybe you could just on your lunch hour take a five minute walk outside just breathe in some fresh air you know do the best you can get outside <clears throat> okay we have <laughs> God is in charge of course he is dear God please help me let go of this situation giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. So, yeah, you still have some healing to do. And of course, control is an illusion, so we might as well let God handle it. Well, the divine's going to bring you the, your person when the time is right, right? When you're both ready for each other, your person is coming. You're very attractive right now. So I feel like it's not that far off. And I feel like you're ready. I do feel like even though you have a little bit of healing to do, I do feel like you're ready. But your person might not be because you're, I feel like your person's that knight of pentacles and they move slow. The knight moves very, very slow. So maybe there's some things that your, your person still needs to do. Okay, some healing that they need to do or some things that they need to tie up. I don't feel like they're ready for you quite yet, but I don't feel like it's a very long time away. I do feel like it's near. And I and for some reason, this is going to sound crazy, especially in this day and age, but I do feel like somebody might not be knocking on your door. I do feel like you might have a surprise visit, and I don't know why I'm feeling that way. Um, but it must be. This is going to resonate for somebody. Somebody's going to get a knock on their door. Or, you know, maybe somebody's showing up to their workplace or something like that. But, um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. So, if that happens, you're going to have to let me know. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. We have choices. Feeling blocked, restrained. Yeah. Maybe that's why you need some healing because you are feeling blocked. Maybe you're feeling like you're not attractive and you're not attracting your person. Uh, maybe you're not hearing your intuition on the steps that you need to take to find your person. Um, and I, I bet you getting outside will help release that block for you. Yeah, nothing will come of this situation. So whatever you're afraid of, um, yeah, don't be afraid because everything's going to work out for you. I don't feel like, you know, when I see that card right away, my mind goes, what do you mean nothing's going to come up? The person that's coming in, nothing's going to happen, but I don't feel like that at all. I do feel like your person is coming in. I feel like this is about um, you still needing some healing. It's okay. That's You still ha needing some healing is not going to stop your person from coming in. They're still coming in. So don't worry about that, okay? Um, but you have the two of pentacles, which I'm reading in this reading as a decision that you have to make. That you have a choice. And now you got the choices card. So I do feel like you're in your head about this choice, this decision about your person. And I feel like whatever your fear is, that's what nothing's going to come from it. Like, I think that your fears are, they might be justified, but I feel like, um, 
you can let them go. Does this, I hope that made sense. I know, you guys can't answer me right now. <laughs> Sometimes I think you can. Uh, finances and career. So this might be a factor in why your person's not here yet. Because he's the Knight of Pentacles. He wants, or she, uh, I say Knight because he, uh, I say he because he's a Knight. But um, they might be worried about their finances. They might, they might want to come to you with something to offer. And so they might be concentrating on their finances and career because they don't want to come to you empty handed. They want to come to you with a gift or they want to come to you at least stable and able to bring something to the table. So give them a little bit of time because I feel like that's exactly what this is. I feel like that's what they're working on. And I feel like that this is kind of what you're working on too, to distract you from not having your person yet, which is good because we don't want to focus on not having our person yet because that, puts up some blocks and you know it makes them not come in as fast so we just kind of got to release that you know know that God's in charge and uh allow him to come in or her to come in whenever they are ready and stop focusing on not having them and just focus on feeling love right now okay my advice <laughs> All right, let's get an Akashic Records card. I might have to look this one up. I don't know. Let's see what card comes out. King of Forces. Yeah, give me one second. Okay, I had to look it up real quick. I kind of remember, but I, I wasn't sure. So, so this is a person that this is a person that comes in with positive energy, and he comes with good intentions. So. This is definitely your King of Cups energy, right? Um, if you don't know this man yet, his energy will be coming into your life. He could bring support for a special project, a work issue, or just in your life in general. So remember I said with that Knight of Pentacles, he feels like he wants to come in with some some money or something stable with an offer. So I, I feel like your person's coming in, but he's coming in with, with something that's going to help you. Um, you just have to be open to receiving him because he, he is a person of honor. So if you're doubting that, if you have fears about that, they're, they're reassuring you here. So that's really good. So that, that's saying your love is coming. So hang in there, pile one. They are uh, around the corner. They're, they're just not quite here yet, but they're getting, it feels like they're getting closer. Let's pull you some charms. All right, what do we got here? We got home run. Home run. When they finally get here, it's going to be a home run. Ah, uh, you got the shooting star. So this will be a wish fulfillment for you. Luck is on your side. I do, you have my, um, my angel heart. So that's always somebody who has crossed for me, who is helping you with this situation from the other side. So they're bringing this person to you. So just have faith. Oh, I think they're keeping an eye on you. Look at that goldfish. I think they're keeping an eye on you. So if you're on social media, you might have a little bit of a stalker. <laughs> Not in a bad way. You know, just somebody who's checking you out. Seeing what you're up to. Seeing if you're with anybody. or are hmm, keeping tabs. They're keeping tabs. That's funny. Um, You got my elephant. So that always represents intuition um, for me. So trust in your intuition. You got the candy cane as the last charm. 
and I'm trying to figure out, I mean, it's not Christmas time, so I was just sitting there trying to figure out what this charm means to me. Um, and the only thing I can come up with is, you know, this is your gift. This is something sweet. It's got a bow on it. So he's going to come in with, with something, with an offer or she, I keep saying he, cause I'm looking, I keep looking at that night, but you know, you guys know what I mean. They're going to come in with some kind of sweet offer for you. So have no fear, pile one. I don't feel like you'll be single for long. All right, that's all I have for you. So give the video a like, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, because that helps me a lot, and I'm so very grateful for it. And until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2 Futures. This is Chevron Amethyst. I'm going to pull your uh, angel numbers. Give me one second. We got three, zero, seven, five. Three, zero, seven, five is your angel number. I'm uh, just going to be right back. Okay, here we go. Page of Wands, the Hermit, Four of Wands. Seven of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. Interesting. We start with a page and end with a page. Hmm. All right. Let's see here. You need to take some risks. You need to put yourself out there. I feel like you don't do that. You might be a little bit in hermit mode. You know, you might kind of keep to yourself a lot. Um... I do feel like you're on a personal journey though. So I feel like you do need to let go of any emotional hangups or any unresolved conflicts in your life. Okay. So I do feel like in order to bring someone in, you, you really got to let go of some things, but also put yourself out there. You need to go to as many parties and events as possible because, you know, with the four of wands, that's celebrations, that's reunions, that's parties, that's family get together. So you might meet somebody that way if you're looking. I mean, you wouldn't be watching this if you weren't. I do feel like with the seven of pentacles though, you're reflecting on the past experiences to determine what you expect from future relationships so be patient with um anybody new that could come in because it could take them some time to open up just trying to figure out why that came out Because I'm talking about you and now I'm t telling you to be patient so I don't know I, I, I do feel like se seven of Pentacles is like taking a look at all the hard work that you've put in and is this the path you want to go down so I do feel like you've taken a look at your past relationships and figuring out what you do and what you don't want in the future um, but I do feel like with this page here somebody is going to capture your attention and I do feel like you're going to want to know everything about them. I feel like you're going to ask them a lot of questions and, and you're going to want to know everything because I think of your past relationships, you're just going to want to know like right away if this person's right for you. But like I said, this person might have trouble opening up. So, um, give them some time. Don't, don't rush past this because they're not giving you the answers you're seeking right away. Give them some time to warm up. Okay, don't be in such a hurry. All right, so you got four cups, nine of wands, 
high priestess and the chariot. I feel like your prospects right now might not be right for you. Yeah, I feel like you need to figure out what's best for you first. I feel like you still need to figure out what you what exactly it is that you want. I, are you being wishy-washy with the universe? Are you putting it out there that you want this? Then the universe is bringing somebody to you, but it's not exactly what you want. So you're like, no, 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 that's not what I meant. I meant this. You got to be clear. Okay, set your intentions, but set them clearly. Right? Um, know exactly what you want, right? If you have to write, write down a pros and cons, like this is what I do want. This is what I don't want. Then do that. So you're clear when you're asking the universe what you want. I do feel like you're healing from a painful breakup. So make sure you're healing before you're jumping back in. I don't know, the high priestess is here and that's like something about secrets, right? That's about, you might have a secret meeting with somebody. So I don't know, that means that if it's secret, I don't know if that means that they're already involved or committed. So mm, I don't know, I'd kind of steer you away from that, but you got the chariot, so... I just, I, I don't know. I'm feeling very strongly with this reading. You really need to take care of your needs first. So you really need to assess your emotional needs, what they are. Figure them out. Address them. Figure out why you have these needs and what you could do to heal them and fix them and, you know, satisfy them. So like I said, don't be wishy-washy with the universe. Make sure you're setting clear intentions and then go from there. Yeah, you just you just feel a little damaged. So there might be some healing you have to do first. But all is possible. So like I said, it says choosing your path. So again, you've got to decide what it is you exactly want. Be clear. deserving you are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life's purpose even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are oh so don't have any self-doubt okay you are deserving of love you're deserving of the love that you want the type of love that you want you are a beautiful soul. You really, truly are. And why am I feeling like you feel like you're not? You're not good enough. That you only attract people who are not what you want because you're not good enough yourself. And let me just tell you how wrong you are. Because I feel your energy here. You're. I feel like you're a very loving soul. And you want love. You gotta fix yourself a little bit though. I do feel like there's some healing here. I don't know why I keep going back to that. But anyway, um, you deserve the love that you want and you'll get it. It's coming. It is coming. It's just it's just not here yet and it might take a little bit of time. But I feel like once you get clear you'll be alright. Shield yourself. Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe. Why do you feel unsafe? You're afraid you're going to let the wrong person in. That's why I think I'm saying don't go, don't, don't rush through this. Go slow. Allow people time to show you their true colors. You know, and it's okay if you ask a lot of questions. I don't, I don't mind that. 
at all. I think that you should be well informed, but you gotta, you can't scare people off with that either. So you gotta give them time to get to open up and give you the answers that you want. So don't rush into a relationship. Don't let the wrong person in. I feel like you do. I feel like you're sensitive. I feel like um, you don't want to trust the wrong person. And I don't know why you're attracting that. So that's something you need to fix. Falling. Descent, momentum, change, the unknown. Yeah, you feel like you're falling. You're feeling like you're falling down a rabbit hole because you're not attracting the right people or you're... I don't know. You're feeling so alone right now. But you're not. You're not. Everything is happening for a reason. We just might not know what that reason is just yet. But it'll become clear eventually. But don't let your past hold you back. So if you have attracted the wrong people in the past, they want you to not give up on love. They want you to still look for love. That's fine. Um, because things are changing and you're learning. You know, we learn it as, as we go. So we're, we're, we never stop learning. So don't give up on love altogether. Just try not to be codependent. You know, or try not to attract somebody who, who will be codependent on you. That's more of what I'm feeling. I'm feeling more like you're, that's the type of uh, person you're attracting is people who want to be codependent. And I don't feel like you're that type of person that can handle somebody too codependent. Even though you're, I do feel like you're like king of cups energy. I do feel like you're very loving and very supportive, but I don't think that you want somebody um, who's too clingy, too codependent. So I think that you need to heal something in you so you're not attracting that. All right, let's get an Akashic Records card. Let's see what comes out for you. I might have to read from the book. I don't know these cards all that well just yet. I don't use them that often, that's why. The King of Keys. All right. So give me a second here. All right. The King of Keys is an entrepreneurial man. He's confident, astute, perhaps overly focused on his work or career. He can be very thoughtful and helpful to you in business or financial matters, but he is often more goal oriented than people oriented. So keep that in mind. So is this King of Cup, King of Keys you? Or is this going to be your person that you're attracting? I don't know, but I feel like if this is a good sign for financial matters. I feel like a promotion or more income, a raise or something is coming in. I feel like you're just going to move further in your career achievements. And I also feel like it could be a good time for self-employment or some type of business expansion. So keep that in mind. That's a good sign for, for money. Um, it's just not what we're looking for here. We're looking for love here. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe, maybe the more money will put you in a higher vibration. That'll attract a more um, high vibrating person to you. But I do feel like you're on the right path. I just feel like um, it's not it's not moving as fast as you would like. But the chariot's here, so I do feel like the momentum's going to pick up soon. Yeah, you need to put yourself out there more. You need to go out. They want you to party. They're giving you permission. <laughs> Get out there, have some fun, and just know that you're always supported by your angels and guides. I do feel like there's some kind of a change here or some kind of a transformation either you're going through or your person's going through. So like, again, give it some time because transformations don't happen overnight. But I do feel that once this person comes in, it will be a gift for you and something beautiful will bloom from it. Okay. Um, the last card you got is candy. So, um, 
I'm going to say, I don't know why I got this, but as soon as I read Candy, I got a picture of Pinata. So, I don't know what that means to any of you, but maybe you need to go to a party. Maybe there will be a Pinata and you can grab some candy. <laughs> or either that or something sweet is coming in for you. But, or you'll meet somebody at this party with the Pinata. I don't know. But that's all I have for you, Bile 2. I hoped it was helpful. Give the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that does help me. And I thank you so much for that. And until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the Cornelian, this is going to be your reading. We'll pull you some angel numbers. We have... Two, five, three, eight. Two, five, three, eight is your angel number. I'm going to write that down. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get your cards. We have Nine of Cups, Ugh, Seven of Swords. <laughs> I always make a noise when that card comes out. Queen of Swords, Justice, and uh, the Wheel. You guys know I hate that card, but anyway, <laughs> let's see what comes out here. Nine of Cups, that's a wish fulfillment, so I feel like you're on the right path. I feel like you, um, I feel like you really want to receive love right now. I feel like that's what you're hoping for, that's what you're wishing for, but I don't know. You might have to hold, you might be holding off a little bit because you're trying to, I don't know, like, I feel like you're independent and you don't feel the need to rush into a relationship where if there's like no clear benefits for you, you know, you're, you're trying to attract the right person because you had a liar, cheater and thief in your past and you don't want to do that again. Um, but I feel like, you know, exactly what you're looking for and you're honest about it. You're honest about who you are and what you want, which is fantastic. We should all be that way, right? We should all put our cards on the table when it comes to finding our perfect match and maybe we wouldn't all make so many mistakes. <laughs> um, but anyway, I do feel like justice is here. So you're going to meet your other half soon. Um, and of course, here's the wheel, right? So you got to put yourself out there a little bit, though. But you're definitely, you know, the momentum's starting to uh, flow in your favor. So it's starting to pick up some speed here. You're, the wheel's turning. So uh, I do feel like you're going to meet your true love. So just, um, you know, be open for it. All right, we have three cups. The full eight of cups and justice. Oh, a justice again. Wow. Okay. So what does that mean? It means somebody's coming. You're going to meet your other half. You will. You'll get justice for it. Three cups kind of saying that. Uh, you'll find a partner with whom you'll share the same outlook on life. You know, it could be the start of a really passionate relationship built on common interest and mutual respect, which is exactly what you want, I think. That's beautiful. Um, I feel like right now with the Fool, you're able to manifest a romantic relationship pretty easily right now. I feel like your future partner is going to be fun and sexy and exciting, maybe carefree. Eight of Cups. Tell me that, you know, I, I do feel like there was a loss, but I do feel like something new is about to unfold, you know? So either you, um, like a relationship has ended or, or you've been single for too long, but I think that if you put yourself out there, someone new 
and exciting is bound to come your way. You're, you're going to get your justice. You will. Your person's coming. They are. All right, let's see what else comes out. Wandering path. Enjoy the journey. Okay, so don't be in a rush. There, you know, everything happens in divine timing, right? So just enjoy where you are now. Enjoy meeting people. Enjoy going out on some dates if you have to. Even if they're not um, exactly the right person for you, just enjoy the moment. Try to have fun. Don't, don't go in hermit mode. Don't go hiding yourself. Um, don't lock yourself away. Somebody's bound to, um, step into your path. You just have to put yourself out there a little bit and it's safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive the resources you have available to share with others. Oh, the more research, uh, can't read today. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you will have available to share with others. So open your arms to receive and be a conduit for a good coming to you and through you as it is blessed, as it blesses the world. So in other words, don't be afraid to, to find new love and don't be afraid to give somebody a chance. You know, we've all been hurt before. It's a fact of life. It happens to us all. Sorry about Vito. <laughs> Maybe your person will have a puppy. <laughs> Although he's not a puppy anymore. He's six. But anyway. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me the courage and strength. So again, that's that Queen of Swords energy, right? Being... Having clarity, knowing what you want, and being a communicator, and being open and honest about it. Um, but this is about like seeing um, what you actually want, admitting that to yourself. You know, maybe you're thinking about an ex, and um, but you know that ex isn't right for you. So you, admitting that to yourself, like, yeah, I still love that person. But I know that they weren't right. And it's really not in my highest good to be with somebody like that. Because this is what I truly want. So if that's what you truly want, why would you be wanting the past back? And that's just an example. But some of you might be feeling that way, you know. And you might be wanting that past back because you're lonely. And you don't want to be alone. Or you want your person. You want somebody that you already know and you already trust. Or you comfortable around it. You might not trust this person. You got a liar, cheater, and thief up there. So you you know that this person wasn't right for you. I know you do. Um, so this card is all about admitting the fact, admitting that, and knowing that you want somebody completely different, because that'll be for your highest good. All right. So let's see what else. Wake up. It's your moment. All right. Again, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like you have a tendency to go into uh, hermit mode. So it's it. This is your time to shine. Put yourself out there. Take some chances. You want to celebrate, right? Somebody is is right around the corner for you. And I feel like you've worked hard to heal. I do. And I feel like it's going to pay off soon. I feel like a new person's coming. Or somebody's coming back. <laughs> well, all right, pile three. You guys are going to have to decide on that. It doesn't have to be your liar, cheater, and thief that's coming back. It could be somebody that you didn't have a relationship with. Maybe it was just a friend that you that comes back to say, "Hey, how about giving me a shot?" <laughs> you know, I've always thought you were cute, or I always kind of liked you. It could be somebody like that. Um, I don't know. Somebody's definitely coming in. 
All right, let's get your Akashic Record card. I will probably have to read from the book on that one. So let's see what comes out. Paths Unknown. I'm kind of getting what that means, but let me read about it anyway. This card reveals that you've been traveling on a path that's unknown to you. And it shows you the way to expect to the expected outcomes. Oh, not unknown. You've been traveling on a path that is known to you. And that's, and it's showing you the expected outcomes. Okay. But there are two other paths that aren't so clear. Remember, if you stay with the one that you know, and it, it's seemingly safe, you won't catch the unseen opportunities that can come your way. Some options may be unexpected and perhaps a little risky. Don't be so attached to your agenda that you miss them. During this phase, you can investigate unknown paths and make the decision that lie before you with confidence. You are flexible and brave enough to step into the shadow. Stay alert. Extraordinary opportunities abound in the least ex expected places. So they're saying take some risks here. Don't don't go the traditional route. Don't stay on the on the well-worn path. You know where that path leads, right? Maybe it's time for you to take a chance, to start a new journey, to take a leap of faith with that full, right? With this full card here. It's time for you to explore something different. Shake it up a little bit because something extraordinary can come from it. That's pretty amazing. And that's going to lead you to an amazing experience, right? And who wouldn't want to have amazing experiences in this life, right? We want to enjoy this journey. So do the unexpected is what they're saying. Yeah, stop playing games. I feel like somebody played game with you, so don't allow them to do that anymore, right? You're not playing games anymore. You're looking for your right person. So don't hold on to the past too tightly. You got to let it go. You know, you're going to be the phoenix rising from the ashes, bigger, better, stronger. Because the good life is coming and something beautiful is about to bloom for you. I got a veto hair here. Let me grab, just grab that. Right? Right? The last charm you got is a, is a snowflake. So you are unique. You're an individual. You don't need to be like everybody else. And your journey doesn't have to look like everybody else's. You don't have to take the same path that everybody else take, took. You know, take a different path. Find your person. You know, maybe somebody from your past who's just somebody you would have never expected to, to fall for. Maybe you're going to fall for them. Give it a chance. Just be clear with what you want and be honest. You know, put your cards on the table. Sometimes I tell you to keep your cards close to your chest, but now I'm saying put it out there. This is what I want. This is the type of person I want. I'm not going to settle for anything different. I'm not going to settle for a liar, cheater, and thief anymore. All right, Pile 3, that is all I have for you. I hope it was helpful. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that helps me. It makes me very grateful. Thank you. And until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose the Aquamarine, then this is going to be your reading. Let me grab your angel numbers. What do we got here? Oh, 0, 8, 6, 5. 8, 6, 5 is your angel number. I'm going to write that down. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get your cards. We have the Death card. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. <laughs> the Lovers. And Ten of Swords. Oh, okay. Oh, boy, Pile 4. Okay. Um, the Death card's here, so either something is coming to an end for you or has ended, um, or this is Scorpio energy, so you could be a Scorpio. Um, 
sometimes a death card in a singles reading can mean that your next relationship is going to be radically different than anyone from your past. But it doesn't have to be. So that's something for some of you. But I do feel like someone's going to capture your attention. Somebody's going to get your interests real soon. Um, you're going to want to know everything about them. But you got some you got some worries here. You got some fear here because of your past relationship. You might not feel desirable. Your walls might be up. You might be protecting yourself from rejection right now. But you got a soulmate here. You got a lover coming in and and that usually means a you know, a strong deep bond here with someone. Either that or a sexual relationship is going to grow into something more. Um, Ten of Swords, though. Oh, that's a betrayal. So, either someone may have betrayed you. They, they're coming back. Or, or somebody betrayed you in your past relationship. And that's why you're, you're having trouble trusting somebody new. Um, either way, we got to get out of that Ten of Swords energy, right? Um, but tens are endings, right? So you're almost through it. So I do feel like this lover's coming in soon. Let's get some more cards. Let's see where this is going. Sorry about Vito. He came in. There's somebody outside. He wants to go outside and... He has to wait until the reading's done. <laughs> he keeps coming back to get me. Let me out, Mom. Let me out. Five of Pentacles. The Magician. The Hangman. Ugh, and the Tower. Look at all these majors here. Five of Pentacles is saying that you feel alone. You're feeling lonely. You're feeling alone in this world. And you're manifesting a new relationship. One's coming. He, uh, the hangman, you may, might have to wait a little bit, though. I feel like you have to let go of some people or situations that are keeping you unhappy. Definitely let go of your ex. So if you're going through a breakup... Or, or, you know, you recently went through a breakup or something ended. You got to let go of them. Because, you know, here's the tower. And that means you're feeling empty, lonely. You're suffering from abandonment issues. So, uh, yeah, we got to get past that because your lover's coming in. There's definitely a lover here, here. I mean, this is a single read and it's the only time the lovers came out. So, good for you, Pile 4, but... I don't know. You got to get over this betrayal. All right, let's get some more cards. Success expands in your life. So here you go. Like you're going to be successful. You you're getting your person. You're met. You're manifesting them. You're manifesting this abundance. So. You're going to be successful. You're going to get what you want. Somebody's going to capture your attention, I'm telling you. But you got to do the work. Here you go. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. Yeah, there's something you got to do. Like, they might be nudging you to go somewhere or to reach out to somebody, and you're not doing it because you're trapped in a fear of your own making up there with that Eight of Swords. You're making it out to be a lot worse than it actually is. If they're, if they're guiding you, if Spirit is guiding you to do something, if you get a thought in your head saying, I should probably do this, but you're like, nah, nah, you're second-guessing it, don't do that. Reach out or take those steps, whatever it is. You're being guided to do it. You're going to be safe, I promise you.
Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. So, are you, you need to forgive yourself for your, your whatever ending, your past relationship ending? Did you cheat? Forgive yourself. God forgives you. You need to forgive yourself. Everything happens for a reason. And yeah, sometimes we hurt people and that's terrible. But we all need to forgive because none of us are perfect. So whatever you did, forgive yourself because you really have done nothing wrong. It was a learning experience, right? Or maybe your person cheated on you and you thought it was your fault. You know, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't. It happened for a reason. Whatever that reason is, it happened. Let it go. Forgive yourself. Move on. You gotta love her here. That lover is a very important. Take the steps you're guided to take towards them. If you want your happiness, the sooner you, you listen to go divine um, guidance, the sooner you'll be happy, right? The sooner you'll bring them in. You're becoming braver, resilient, experienced, growing stronger. You're, you're looking at things from a fresh perspective, which is that hangman energy. So this is awesome. This is fantastic. Yes, become braver and braver every day, okay? What's the worst that can happen? You get rejected? Well, then somebody else will come in, but it doesn't look like you're going to be rejected. You got the lovers here. That's your that's your counterpart, right? Your soulmate. A win-win outcome is forecasted. Become brave. Take the steps you need to take. Don't be afraid going to be successful you're going to go on a trip with this person you're going to go on a trip it, it says honeymoon for some of you can actually be getting married but um it does feel more like you're going to you're going to take a trip with a person to um fully connect to really get to know them you know you're going to be taking out of each of your environments into a new environment where it's just the two of you and you guys can really connect on a deeper level. Get to know each other. This person's going to fascinate you. This person really intrigues you. You're going to want to know everything. And, um, you know, if you get out of that, your normal environment, that that'll be easier for you to do. So I do really feel like you're going to travel with this person. Interesting right interesting okay let's get an akashic record card i might have to read from the book let's see what comes out we got the lookout oh boy little look oh yeah okay this card tells you to be on the lookout there is a challenging situation perhaps even a battle of sorts around you you could experience a sudden fall or loss of your position, but if you are aware, you can make a backup plan that will help you ride through this difficult time more easily. This phase may be temporary, but it's important to keep your balance. Your strength will carry you through to a better time. All right, so there's a tower moment here, right? So that's exactly what this card is saying, that there's some kind of a battle. Something's crumbling. Something is making room for something new and amazing. So you may not be through this ending, whatever this death is up there with that death card. You might not be through it yet. There might be another battle yet, or you might be going through the battle, whatever it is. Uh -huh. Just know that whatever's crumbling, whatever's coming to an end is, is happening for a reason. It's happening for your highest good, even if it might not feel that way. You got a lover here. A lover's going to come in after this battle. 
and your life is going to be amazing. Look, you're going to go on a trip together. You're going to have like a sort of honeymoon. It's going to be amazing. A win-win outcome is forecasted. You're, going, you're becoming braver. Go after what you want. Follow your divinely guided steps. I'm proud of you, Pile 4. I'm proud of you. Take those steps. All right. Oh, what charms? I just dropped one. Let's see what, Let's see what comes out. All right. Don't judge a book by its cover because on the inside it's pure gold. So don't judge a situation, right? By the outs. Dig, dig deep, right? Vito, you have to wait a minute. Okay, mommy's wait. I'll be right there. I'm almost done. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, you gotta you gotta dig a little deeper. Ask your questions, get the answers you re, you need inside the book, right? It's gonna be beautiful. Cupid's here. Cupid's here. Your angels are here guiding you. Listen to them. Step into that power. Become braver, right? Become braver. Let go of what no longer serving you. Let it die. Whatever's dying, let it die. Let, let that betrayal go. It's over. It's done with it's, it's Move on from it. Because luck is on your side and it's bringing something amazing and beautiful to you. You had to go through a transformation. You had to go through this change, this tower moment. You had to go through it um, to turn a new leaf, to get what you really, truly want. You got two intuition animals here, the cat and the Elephant, listen to your intuition. Your got your spirit guides are guiding you. Listen to your higher self. It's time for you to be happy, truly happy. And where's that happiness? With your lover. I mean, our happiness lies within, but I know that this lover is going to make you really happy. It just it feels I feels like a, an amazing union it does it feels like a deep soul connected union so uh take the steps you're guided to take pile four that's all i got for you give the video a like and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel because that really helps me a lot and it makes me so very very grateful thank you and until next time love and light